Check if the 3D file is printable. First of all, the file size should be OK. In this case, it's more than enough. Probably 20, maximum 30 megabytes is OK. So this is something that we could make smaller. That's the first thing. Let's have a look at the geometry. Let's use NetFab Basic. Drag and drop. If loaded into NetFab, we get a triangle here. That is the first sign that this is not a good file for 3D printing. And if we examine this, we can see that there are geometry here that looks very thin. Use the Analyze tool as well. New Analysis, Standard Analysis. By doing this, we could have a look at the file size, sorry, the geometry size. So this one is 46 millimeter by 38 by 52. It's a good proper size for a 3D printer, so that's okay. But we could see here in red, surface is closed. No. So this is not good. We could also see that we have plenty of different volumes, shells. It's 48 different volumes here. So that also needs to be taken care of. And there is some boundary edges and there is a hole as well. So let's see if we could fix this with mesh mixer. We could also have tried to repair this here in NetFab, but it, it's too much. We need to do some major modifications. So I jump into mesh mixer and have we, here we could see the same problem that we saw in NetFab with the thickness. So what we will do here is that we will first of all try to get rid of the shells that we don't want to have there. So I go for edit, separate shells. Mesh Mixer will now try to divide this geometry into different pieces and it says that there is 47 new objects created. In the object browser we can now see all the 48 different pieces and if I choose the first one it activates that. Let's make it invisible and pick the next one and now we can see tiny small pieces floating around here and I will actually just delete all these tiny pieces so I go down and shift left click all the others so the only one that is not picked is the main shell trash can delete so that made it a little bit uh, cleaner by just throwing away a lot of small pieces there. So now we have one shell there that is active. Let's see if we could do this into a little bit thicker and solid shell. And I will use the quick fix in Mesh Mixer that is make solid. So if you like to have it more accurate, you could use the inspector instead to fix small errors. But here we have plenty of problems, so let's take the easy fix. And when you use make solid, there is tif different possibilities here to do the calculations. And with the default settings here, we could see that there is a lot of things disappearing. And it's also called fast. Let's go for accurate and also change the offset distance a little bit. So I will just bring this to maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and see what happens. So uh, the next step would be to test to change accuracy and mesh density. But let's update and see what this will bring us. Okay, very smooth. We lost a lot of information there, but we have one smooth thing, which is a little bit thicker. So this is probably printable. But let's see if we could get it a little bit more accurate.
by going for higher values here for the accuracy and I think I will bring up the mesh density as well that is the size of every polygon here and update some more calculations let's see what this gives us and after a while it updates the graphic and we have yeah something that could be quite okay we could tweak the settings here a little bit more and see what it brings us but I think I will accept this and what we have now is the original shell and we also have this brand new one so I will go back and delete the original one and yes click delete and now the only shell we have is the brand new solid one with double V we could see the amount of polygons and they are quite many if I hide the object browser we could see the number of polygons here and it's a little bit more than 400,000 polygons but that's quite okay it's it's not a crazy amount so let's save this and see what the file size is file export and now we choose binary format and we put it into the same folder as the other one and we could call this solid and the file size is good we're close to 20 megabyte and we could try to get it even smaller because this is probably more than enough so let's try to reduce a little bit uh, of the number of polygons here and what I will do now is I will go for select and then I could go for control A choose everything and then I go for edit the selection and we would like to reduce the polygons and the default setting here 50 percentage reduced looks very nice we could try and change the way of how this is reduced but I will accept this and hopefully it have decreased the file size so let's see 218,000 polygons okay good let's export this one and we could call this solid number two in the folder we could now see that, that we're down to 10 megabyte so it's almost one tenth of the original one and let's now have a look in netfab what this looks like so first I go to netfab and delete the original analyze and I go for the folder and bring in this brand new one and hope for the best oh look at that no warning triangle this is great let's go for analyze yes surface is closed but there is three shells so we still could make some improvements here let's jump back to mesh mixer and see what separate shells could do oh so here we could see that we actually have different pieces here so if we make that active it seems like it's the main piece here. and there we see some small small poor parts there so I pick these two and delete them okay so now we only have one shell again and hopefully this is okay now so file export and this will be number three
So let's test this file in netfab. So first I go to netfab and delete the old analyze. Go for the folder and drop number three into netfab. Oh, beautiful. Let's make an analyze. So now there is one shell, zero holes, everything is good. Yes, yes. So it's closed, its surface is orientatable, it, everything is good. So this file could absolutely be printable. Good.